A baby girl was on the brink of death when a nurse had the idea of putting her with her twin sister in an incubator. But no one could have imagined that a miracle would happen. Kylie, an experienced and dedicated nurse, was coming to the end of her long shift of almost 18 hours at the hospital. As she removed her uniform, her thoughts were focused on the well-deserved rest that awaited her at home. Wow, what a tiring day, good lord. She muttered to herself, exhausted. During the day, the young woman faced a flood of cases, from cardiac emergencies and amputations to accidents with very serious injuries. She worked in different areas of the hospital, each requiring a different set of skills and a huge dose of patience and empathy. Kylie always devoted herself to the utmost, treating each patient with special attention, regardless of how hard her job was. The clock on the wall indicated that it was only 20 minutes before she could finally go home. I can't wait to take a shower and go to bed, she thought, feeling every muscle in her body begging for rest. She was proud of her work, but the physical and emotional strain was undeniable. And after an 18-hour shift, her rest was well-deserved. However, as he was about to leave, the sudden sound of screams echoed down the hall. A pregnant woman had arrived at the hospital in labor. One of the obstetricians, visibly overwhelmed, ran towards the nurse. Kylie, please help me. You're the only one who's still here. She's having the babies. I need help. Kylie, surprised by the urgency of the situation, felt adrenaline replace tiredness. The babies? She repeated as his mind processed the information. The pregnant woman was having twins and was going into premature labor about 12 weeks prematurely. With a strength she didn't even know she had, the nurse quickly put her uniform back on. Any trace of physical exhaustion was gone, replaced by an unshakable determination. She made her way quickly to the maternity ward, each step marked by a sense of urgency. In the delivery room, the scene was tense. The mother, in a state of panic and pain, was frightened by the prematurity of the girls. Are they, are they going to be okay? She asked. Kylie, with her calm voice and firm hands, said that they would do everything in their power to make sure the babies were okay, and began to prepare everything for the birth. She knew that every second was crucial and worked closely with the medical team to ensure the safety of the mother and the twins. The nurse's hours of training and experience had prepared her for moments like this, but each premature birth brought its own challenges and uncertainties. She concentrated on every detail, making sure everything was ready for what was to come. It was an evening that promised to be as exhausting as it was rewarding, a reminder of why she had chosen nursing as her vocation. The twins' birth was a race against time and full of tension. The mother, already exhausted and anxious, underwent an emergency cesarean section due to complications. Are the girls all right? Please, someone tell me something. She asked repeatedly, her voice trembling with the kind of concern that only a mother has. Beside her, her husband shared the same anguish, holding his wife's hand and searching the doctor's expressions for some sign of hope. Please tell me if our daughters are all right, begged the father, as the team worked quickly and efficiently to bring the babies into the world. After the birth, the extremely premature twins were immediately intubated and placed in separate incubators. Watching the little ones, Kylie felt a squeeze in her heart. They were so fragile, barely bigger than 25 centimeters. My God, they're so small, she thought, wondering about their chances of survival. Seeing the parents crying, the nurse approached with words of comfort and support. We're going to do everything we can to make sure your daughters are okay. We want to see them strong and healthy too, she said, trying to convey a mixture of hope and realism. The couple thanked her, hanging on to Kylie's every word like a beacon of hope amidst a sea of uncertainty. They stood by the incubators, watching every movement, every breath of the little ones. Finally, after a grueling shift, Kylie was able to go home. Unlike what she had imagined, instead of a peaceful, restful sleep, she found herself immersed in thoughts and worries about the twins. She even tried to relax in her bathtub, enjoying a bubble bath, but her mind was full of questions about the future of those little girls. The woman knew that the baby's mother had a disease, a rare infectious genetic condition that could affect them both. Were they born with the same disease? Kylie wondered, as the hot water was no longer enough to calm her agitated mind. 
The nurse reflected on what the next few days would bring. They would be days of rigorous observation, tests, and possibly more challenges. Even in her exhaustion, she felt a connection with those children she had helped bring into the world. She knew that their struggle had only just begun and that, as a nurse, she would do everything in her power to help them. With these thoughts weighing heavily on her mind, Kylie finally gave in to tiredness and went to sleep. She was aware that from that moment on, she would face difficult times looking after the twins, but she was determined to fight for them every step of the way. As the days went by, the whole hospital was rooting for the development of little Louise and Mel. The nurse who had helped with the birth always found time in her breaks to visit the little ones, even though the maternity ward was not her usual area of work. She felt connected to these girls and made a point of following their progress closely. Whenever possible, Kylie talked to the parents, trying to bring strength and hope to them. They are little fighters, she said, and we are all here for them. Her affection and dedication were a comfort to the couple, who spent hours by the incubators, watching their daughter's every move. However, despite the optimism and efforts of the medical team, challenges began to arise. Louise, the older twin, started to develop well. Even though they were born three months premature, she was a strong baby and was making surprising progress. Her curious little eyes and steady breathing brought joy to everyone who accompanied her. On the other hand, her little sister Mel couldn't keep up the same pace. Her development was slower and her health more fragile. Her parents couldn't understand. I don't understand. Why isn't our daughter getting better? said the mother, with tears falling down her tired face. The father, frustrated and frightened by the possibility of losing one of the little girls, questioned the doctors. What can we do? Is there nothing that can be done? I want my daughter to get well. She has to survive, he begged, holding his wife's hand. Despite their best efforts, the doctors were unable to find a definitive explanation. Unfortunately, Mr. and Mrs. Brown, we don't understand what is going on. We're still studying to see if they have their mother's disease. Louise doesn't have it. It's been proven in tests. But Mel, we haven't been able to conclude anything yet. Even so, for some reason, Mel isn't reacting. We believe it's a different response to neonatal treatment. They explained with a mixture of professionalism and compassion. The nurse, watching from afar, felt a deep sadness for the poor couple. The bond she had developed with the twins made the situation even more difficult. However, things took an even more worrying turn. That's because one day, during her break, Kylie witnessed a moment of panic. Mel's skin began to turn purple, her breathing quickened, and then became dangerously weak. The parents, standing next to the incubator, began to cry desperately. My daughter, oh my God. They screamed, as the doctors and nurses rushed to help. The situation quickly became critical. Mel's heartbeat became so weak that it almost stopped, leaving everyone in the hospital in a state of shock and sadness. They did lots and lots of tests, but nothing was working. So when Kylie arrived to visit the babies and the couple, there was no one from the medical team there, just them. In that neonatal room, faced with Mel's critical situation, the nurse felt driven by a mixture of desperation and intuition to make an unconventional decision. Then she said, I'd really like to try something if you'll allow me. Remembering cases and studies she had read about twins, where the proximity between them seemed to promote better development, she talked about the possibility of bringing the sisters together. It was an idea that defied usual medical practices, especially considering the mother's suspected genetic illness but the situation called for extraordinary measures. Putting the twins together could be a risk. Kylie pondered. But maybe that special connection between the twins could make the difference she needs. With the girl's mother begging for any attempt to save her daughter, the nurse knew it was a chance she couldn't ignore. Acting with a determination that surprised even herself, she, taking advantage of the fact that there was no one else in the room, opened the incubator, picked Mel up with all care and delicacy, and began to remove the devices that connected her. The little girl, fighting for her life, was so fragile that every movement required extreme attention and sensitivity. Come on, Mel, you need to be strong now, whispered the woman as she carefully adjusted the baby's position next to Louise. Placing Mel next to her sister was a moment full of emotion and tension. 
She needed to put the devices on the baby quickly before the worst happened, because the little one couldn't be without oxygen for a single second. And after she finally succeeded, Kylie sighed with relief, but now she was carefully watching the monitors and the girl's vital signs, hoping to see some positive sign of this close contact. The nurse's heart was pounding, echoing the anxiety and hope that filled the room. The twins' parents, standing next to the incubators, could barely hold back their tears. They watched every movement, every breath, holding each other's hands in silent mutual support. Please let this work, said the mother, her eyes fixed on her daughters. The nurse, after ensuring that Mel was properly settled and receiving oxygen, took a step back. She knew she had done everything in her power, and now she had to wait. I hope the connection they say exists between twins can help, she thought, as she watched the sisters together in the incubator. Kylie said she would leave the parents alone and return to her shift, but no one could have predicted what would happen next. Suddenly, before the woman had even opened the door to leave, the sudden entrance of the doctors into the neonatal room brought a moment of tension. The obstetrician, seeing the conjoined twins lying next to each other, almost fell backwards. Are you crazy, Kylie? Don't you know they can get contaminated? Shouted the lady, already trying to separate the babies. She was shocked and angry at the same time. But the girl, defending her decision, tried to explain what had led her to that risky choice. I just thought... She began, but was interrupted by the doctor, who insisted that it didn't make sense. You didn't have to make any decisions without my permission, girl. What were you thinking? The discussion intensified with raised voices and differing opinions. The doctor was already lifting the incubator lid to separate the twins when something unexpected happened, something that seemed like a small miracle. The monitors that monitored the baby's vital signs began to show a surprising change, especially Mel's, whose heart, which had been beating weakly and irregularly, almost disappearing, simply began to gain strength, synchronizing with the beats of her sister Louise. What? What's going on? The obstetrician was perplexed, Everyone in the room was stunned to witness this turn of events. The doctor and the rest of the team were stunned, staring at the monitors with a look of incredulity and admiration. That's impossible. They whispered to each other, not believing their eyes. Before long, Mel's heartbeat, which had been on the verge of failure, normalized. The doctors rushed to do all the tests they could, while the girl's parents, overwhelmed by emotion, wept with relief and happiness at seeing their little girl's heart beating vigorously again. Oh my God, our little girl. They were thrilled. It was as if a new hope had emerged, a sign that her little Mel might actually survive. This little girl is showing all her strength, commented one of the doctors, amazed at her recovery. And Kylie, of course, was also emotional. Her heart was pounding, just like the baby's, because there she was witnessing a life struggling to keep beating. Over the next few days, the extraordinary continued to happen. Mel began to react phenomenally, improving spectacularly. Her skin, once pale and purple, returned to its normal color, and her organs began to develop properly. The two sisters slept cuddled up in the same incubator. Louise, with one arm around her sick little sister, seemed to offer silent support, as if she knew that her presence was crucial to Mel's recovery. No one would believe it if they hadn't seen the two of them hugging with their own eyes. So months passed, and against all expectations, little Mel became a strong and healthy baby. A true medical miracle. Kylie's decision to place the sisters together in the same incubator had been an act of courage and intuition that had saved the twins' life. The girl's story, which began with despair and fear, became a narrative of overcoming and love. The courage of a nurse, the inexplicable strength of the connection between twin sisters, and the hope that was ignited even in the darkest hours marked everyone who witnessed this miracle in the hospital. After that event in the neonatal room, Louise and Mel's story quickly spread, gaining attention not only from the local community, but also from the national media. The Miracle Babies, as they were called, became a symbol of hope and overcoming, and the hospital where they were treated gained notoriety for the extraordinary case. The girls' parents were often interviewed, sharing their emotional story and the unbelievable event they had witnessed. They spoke with gratitude and admiration about Kylie, 
the nurse who made the brave decision to place the twins together. The girl, for her part, became known for her intuitive and heroic actions. When asked where the idea came from, she explained that she had read about studies in Europe that showed that twins, when placed together, often got better more quickly. Although there is nothing scientifically proven, she said, the connection between twins is something that has always fascinated me. And the shocking twist in Kylie's story was that she herself was a twin, hence her interest in this matter. She and her brother Kevin have always been extremely close, sharing a special connection since childhood. I always know when he's not well, so I thought that the babies could also have this perception of each other, explained the nurse. Thanks to this intuition and the unique connection between twins, Mel's life was miraculously saved. The girls left the hospital months later, in the arms of their parents, surrounded by applause and admiration, and it was a moment of pure joy and celebration. Kylie, who developed a deep friendship with the family during her treatment, was invited to become the little girl's godmother. She accepted with emotion, feeling honored to be part of their lives in such a meaningful way. Over the years for the girls, the nurse was more than a godmother. She was a loving aunt, a figure who represented hope and unconditional love. As Louise and Mel grew, their strength and happiness was evident to everyone around them. They developed into healthy, lively children, always supported by the special connection they shared. The story of the Miracle Twins and the intuitive nurse has become a reminder of the untapped power of human connections, especially those between twin siblings. It was a story that reinforced the belief that sometimes this inexplicable connection can bring healing and miracles, even in the darkest moments. If you liked the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss and see you in the next story.